All right, Shalom. All right, first I want to give all praises, all the glory, all the honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahu Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, that taught us the truth, and blessings to the elect and the remnant of Israelites who are scattered worldwide who are predestined to be saved. This is Brother Yakal. Come with just a very short video, and Lord willing, you brothers and few sisters in this truth will be edified. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Firstly, I will, um, I want to say that I'll get to uh, a few comments. People, you know, a few brothers and sisters have left comments. Um, I promise I'll get back. I'll, I will, after this video, um, after I post this video up, I will uh, reply to your comments as soon as possible. I'm trying to make a habit of doing it, you know, a lot sooner <clears throat> rather than saying, oh yeah, I'll come back to that. <clears throat> Because I won't lie, I have to be honest with you brothers and you few sisters that in this truth that watch, you know, um, brothers like me and Great Millstone's videos, my short-term memory is not very good. You know, it, it might have something to do with the sickle cell. There, there is some studies that show that, but me personally, my short-term memory is not good. So please don't be offended, you know. Um, but anyway, today's lesson is, is about prophecy and what's going on. And there's been major happenings in the UK, and we're going to show it. And Lord willing, this will escalate into, uh, um, you know, the prophecy of race rights. Because um, now there's two, there's two things that have happened. Recently, uh, literally about two weeks ago, there was a riot in Leeds. If you don't know where Leeds is in the UK... It's um, a northern town, all right? Um, the UK is very multicultural, all right? England in particular. I mean, London is like a melting pot of every race. You've got blacks, all right, who are Israelites. You've got blacks who are like Somalians. You have uh, uh, Romanians. You have Roma gypsies. You have um, uh, Sri Lankans, Bengalis, you know? You have whites, uh, you have, uh, well, crackers, let's call them crackers. You have um, Chinese, you have a South Korean population in Merton and, and New Malden. I mean, you have a really melting pot. And But when you go to up, up north, you have that same kind of melting pot. And Leeds is in the north. And in England, the north and south divide is, is huge. Um, up north tends to be a lot poorer, all right, uh, lack of investment, etc. And if you are in a town where you are a minority and, you know, and you're in a place like Leeds or Manchester and it's an area where it's mainly minorities like blacks or Asians, it's going to have its problems, all right. Now, a couple of weeks ago, there was riots in Leeds and the the background story of it I'll show you is that um, the Roma community all right uh, when I say the Roma community um, uh, people who are Romanian I think they they are I think it I think it's Romanian gypsies I might be wrong but definitely they're from Romania all right um, basically had um, social services take away a couple of children all right, and the police were called to assist, and the people in the area, because it's a very uh, Roma community there, and Asians in the same area, very working class area, very poor kind of area, they went mad. All right, and um, and obviously this country being a cracker country, and you know how crackers are. Crackers don't understand the, you know. When they see things like that happen, and I'm not making excuses for what you're about to see, but we had this in 2011 when they killed an Israelite guy called uh, Mark Duggan, and they shot him. The police shot him and said he had a gun, which was a damn lie. All right. It was all a big, it was all, it, it was all done. They did it in Tottenham, which is a, a community where it's Israelites and they've had problems with the police and still have problems with the police. They knew that doing a, a a killing of a young black guy in that 
area and they did not tell his family okay his family had to find out from people around the area and then there was a protest outside a police station then riot police came out and then for about a week we had riots in london and then all over the uk it spread all right i wasn't in the truth back then but i i'm telling you this the next time you see something like that i guarantee you man all right that's going to be the start of what um uh is going to be the start the embryonic stages of jacob's trouble lord willing anyway we hope okay now there's different videos on it but i'm i think the best one and the most balanced one is the one i saw on channel it was by channel four this is it all right whatever they can find told today to try and calm the situation. It would be several hours before they returned. We hear a helicopter off the wall. That might, I guess, be a police helicopter, but actually down here, I haven't seen a single police officer, a single police car, apart from the one that was tipped over. Just there, that burning wreckage, not so long ago, that was a box. Why did all this happen? What led to so much anger last night and still today among the Roma community in this part of Leeds? The catalyst, it seems, was a visit by social workers to a family in the area. A video of what happened next has been posted online. Taking the kids away? West Yorkshire Police say their officers helped move the social workers and children to a place of safety. See the kids trying to get away? Social workers were met with hostility. Yeah. See? You know what I think about your government, about your social worker now? That's really shame. Shame. I'm sorry what happened yesterday with this. Yeah. We apologize for what happened with this. But the point is what they did how to come inside and to get a young kids, yeah. With questions about community relations and about what will happen in the coming hours and days. At a press conference, the mayor of West Yorkshire confirmed some arrests have already been made and called for calm. It was so distressing for the community and I want to publicly commend those people that through the night were on the streets ensuring that the outcome wasn't worse than the outcome that we saw. Oh, that's Councillor Martin Ali from Green Party trying to stop it. Among those trying to stop more damage, mm. more things being burned last night. See? Martin Allen, a local councillor Lo in Leeds. Look at that, local councillor. Because of that anger, because of that uh, threat from, from, from the bricks and bottles. We, we, we were trying to protect the police. I mean, there, there was a couple of us who were, who were um, providing a sort of shield, a human shield in front of the police officers. But unfortunately, um, I mean, there were just too many people throwing too many projectiles. Are you all right? As people who live in this area started putting out the still smouldering fires at a nearby retail park, the emergency services en masse waited before coming back to damp down in the early hours. A tactic said today to have worked in ending things without injury, without further escalation. This weekend will be another test though. Although earlier today that wreckage of the burned out double decker bus that was on this street last night was taken away from here, I think it is fair to say that there is still a damping down exercise going on here in Hare Hills this evening, a dampening down of tensions because you know there mm. is still a huge amount of upset and anger here this evening. And that was referenced, I think, by Tracy Braben earlier today, the mayor of West Yorkshire, when she asked parents to make sure they know where their kids are tonight. But she also addressed some of the stuff that's being posted online, because there is an awful lot of misinformation, and I would say in some cases deliberate stirring, actually, being posted in some quarters. And she said it's no time for dog whistle politics. We also heard from a representative from the Roma community here earlier today who was wanting to reassure people who live here when she addressed a big group from the community to tell them that the children at the centre of the event that led to all of this, that they are safe and well and that talks are still ongoing to try and bring all of this uh, to a conclusion really. 
So as you can see, because they tried to take these two Roma kids, all right, and I, I, I'm not sure if they're Roma, is they Roma gypsies because a lot of them, a lot of the um, the Roma, uh, um, the Roma people, right? The Romani people, all right. Some of them are um, some of the gypsy communities in Europe, all right. Some of them not all of them are israelites all right they are they are some of them are israelites all right now why why can i say how can i say oh some of these people are israelites because the some of the gypsy communities in europe all right they basically started their tradition of traveling when we when our empire was falling from 1453 really to the 70 mid 1700s all right and this is why you have the gypsy community over there in ireland man all right okay so some some of them are israelites you know i mean some of them aren't because obviously intermixing and stuff but what you have to understand is that many of them are have a, a what's the word like there was a program uh, about the gypsy community in manchester and they were all very religious. They were all very spirit, believed in Jesus, you know. And um, if you look at this, this guy, Tyson Fury, all right. Now these people that um, were had the case in um, Leeds, who were at the case, they were uh, the Roma people, all right. And they're from, I think, Romania, all right. And I don't think that those are the same people, you know, as uh, as what I'm talking about, the gypsies. But if you look at Tyson Fury, he calls himself um, the gypsy, gyp. Yeah, he calls himself the gypsy, gypsy king. All right. And, and, and what does he always talk about? Uh, um, like when he f faced Deontay Wilder. What, what did he keep saying? I'd like to thank my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, uh, etc. Because he's a Benjamite, that's why. He's a black... And that's the reason why he's only... He's just been beaten by uh, Alexander Uzik. And that was on points. Alright? And this is his family. Look how much kids he's got, man. Alright? He's got about five kids. I think he's got an, uh, 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 another one. Alright? And he and 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 he called himself the Gypsy King. Okay, so the Roma people, there there's a people called uh, 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 Roma Gypsies. All right, a lot of the Gypsies are some. A lot of them are Israelites, but the people that um, were in this case, um, where is it now? In this case, they're the Roma people. All right, and apparently they're from Romania, so I'm, I'm not sure about their background. But as soon as these, these kids were taken out of the house, the community uh, was outraged, and you saw the kids struggling. Now, the police have a job to do, man. They have a job to do, all right? If there's a protection order and blah, 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 they, they uh, have to come and enforce it, all right? But... The strong sense of the community, it took a, a few people crowding around, seeing this happen. And then what happened? All right. You had people apparently from outside of the community come in, all right, organized on social media who don't like the police and started smashing up cars, burning things down. And some of these, and some of these people were from the Asian community, some of them were from the Roma community, some of them were crackers, you know, etc. But look at the reaction, and this is the point of this video, is that, what is this stoking? Racial tension, man. That's what this is stoking. Have a look at this reaction from these crackers, man. All right. Nothing, throwing a fizzy drinks bottle at a 
Twitter, but frankly, usually they do a better job than the mainstream media when it comes to getting to the heart of a matter, um, seem to expand across the whole of Hare's Hill. And when I looked at the footage, all the videos being posted online, look at this. we've had Moffat ah. Ali there, who's the new Green Councillor um, for the area, who, look at, you know, look at this guy. widespread indignation when he shouted, Allahu Akbar, after being elected, um, seemingly actually trying to calm things down, so credit to him. But when I looked at the footage coming out, there were some big sort of football hooligan type yobbos kicking in police cars. But it struck me, frankly, that a lot of the people out on the streets attacking the police who were trying to sort this whole mess out looked like people who were uh, probably in here as immigrant communities or possibly second generation. I don't know. But it, the, the visuals of it, the optics of it, looked to me almost like we're heading to the root of race riots. Yeah, it reminded me of yeah, the race riots that we've seen over the years, you know, back in the early 80s and, uh, and, and in the early 2000s. Um, and look, that community is is largely of ethnic minorities. You know, it is an immigrant community. Um, I, I, I don't think it's right to say, there were, there were lots and lots of speculation on Twitter this morning, it was the Muslim community kicking off. I don't yeah. think that's right to characterise it. As no, I don't think we can say it's this community, it's that community. No, but, but, Every community is going to have people but, 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 who kick off and those who stay at home and, and or try and stop things from yeah, happening. Yeah, but, but it did see. You see, but look, look what they're pointing at. They're pointing at race, the optics of it. All right, the optics of it. That's the main thing. Now, what does the Bible say about this? Because the Lord did say that there's going to be different signs of his coming, man. All right, there's going to be different signs of his coming. And by the way, and I'm going to show you in the next clip that there has been two days ago. And, and, and listen, I'm telling you. I'm I'm telling you based upon um what's what's the word? I'm te I'm I'm telling you based upon uh, uh spiritual inclination. This event that happened two days ago in Southport, all right. Um, Southport is uh, in Merseyside, north a northern a northern town, in and just near Liverpool, not too far from Liverpool, right? Okay. And basically, they said that the, there was a, a little kids playing in a play center and a guy came in with a mask and stabbed kids and three of them have died. Um, six of them are in intensive care. And when they said six, I just knew that it was a psyop, psych, psychological operation, you know. I, I, and, I, and, and if people don't know what a psyops is, let's Google it. Psyop. Psyops is something that. Psyops. All right. The meaning. Let's see. All right. All right. Military operations, usually aimed at influencing the enemy's state of mind through non-combative means. All right. And that basically means staging events. All right. So just like 9/11 was a psyop. All right, they did it themselves. That's why it was a controlled demolition. There was no planes that flew into the towers. Uh, that's all. <laughs> that's all been debunked. All right, and I believe that this thing. Um, I I believe that this Southport thing is a psyops. I could be wrong, but basically it happened. Now, when we talk about kids dying, everyone's emotional on it. Now they've said that a seventy-year-old boy has been arrested for it. And there's rumours that the boy was an immigrant. And guess where he was from? Rwanda. And if you don't know where Rwanda is, Rwanda is in East Africa. It neighbours um, Congo. All right. And the, U and the UK government said that the last conservative government said they're going to take um, illegal immigrants, asylum seekers, and ship them to Rwanda. You know? And now the new government has scrapped that because it was it, it was it was huge money and it was immoral, man. You know, but all of a sudden this guy is an immigrant. All right, his parents are immigrants, and and he's a descendant of an immigrant from Rwanda. That's the rumor. All right, now because of that rumor, and we're talking about kids being stabbed here. All right, many people, many people, many people have. Um, started to, after a couple of days, you had far-right protesters 
all right far right protesters started to basically um um go to a mosque well i mean what does a mosque have to do with killing children all right and the guy was rwandan they went to a mosque and started pelting a mosque in southport with bricks and the police had to uh, uh intervene let, let me show you that you see and i'm sure that that was uh uh psyops man but let me give you a background to this story look at that riots erupt outside a mosque what 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 does a mosque have anything to do with someone from rwanda but the reason is that because these kids were, were caucasians they're going mad about it you see you know sorry about the adverts let's get all this out of the way passed away this morning the two other girls were aged six and seven. They went there to <laughs> dance along to pop star Taylor Swift. Now they're gone. Eight other children suffered stab wounds, five of whom are still in a critical condition, alongside two brave adults who were injured trying to protect the youngsters. And today the Prime Minister, Sakir Starmer, was heckled in the streets as he laid flowers at the scene in Southport. Time to change, Starmer. And what can the Prime Minister do about knife crime? He can't do anything about it. You know, he can't do nothing about it. What, what, I, mean, what, I mean, what do you want him to do? Take, take away everyone's knives from their kitchen? This is a psyops, man. You can hear angry locals saying, is that it, in regards to the Prime Minister briefly laying of flowers at the scene. And tensions have continued to rise throughout the day. In the last hour, a large crowd has gathered outside a mosque, chanting and throwing stones and bottles at riot police. Officers stood guard outside the building amid chants of no surrender and English till I die from sections of the crowd. See, English till I die. Now, what has the stabbing children, all right, got to do with a mosque? And the rumour is, the rumour is that this person was Rwandan, was a, a, a descendant of Rwandan immigrants. Rwandans are Hamites, the majority of them. There must be Israelites among them, but most of them are Hamites, all right? So that's the rumour. All right, and that's the reason why the far right went over there, because the English Defence League, they're far right scum, and and then they started going and and throwing things at a mosque, madness. And these and, and again, these crackers are not from the area, they came from other areas in, just like you saw with the other riot. All right, so where is all of this in the scriptures? Let's go to Matthews. Because Yahushua did say, signs of Hamashiach's return. Signs of Yahushua's return. Alright. Alright. And that's the great thing about the blue letter. Because, and I've got to use the blue letter more when I'm doing these videos. Because it has headings. It has subheadings. So, it will show you there. If I go, if I put this scripture, alright, and, and I put it on the King James online. It ain't going to have that subheading. But um, the subheading here gives you more clarity and it even gives you precepts. Look, there you go. Look, see, gives you precepts. That's beautiful. All right. Now let's, now let's start. All right. Um, at Matthew 24 verse 3. And he sat on the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world and the end of Esau's world all right all right the Bible says Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth okay so the white man's world his so-called new world order has to reach a pinnacle all right, it has to reach a pinnacle, which is really the MOTB and World War Three, and that's when Yahushua is going to come back. But they asked Yahushua, 
All right, when they were on the Mount of Olives with him, the disciples said, What's going to be the signs of your coming? And he answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. This is Matthew 24 and 4. All right, verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. Now, is that not happening already? It is happening. All right. Look at it. I just googled men who say that they're Jesus. And these crackers and a nigger are saying that they are Yahushai, basically. You know? And this guy in, in, um, in Africa, he's got a huge following, man. And he says that he is uh, a Yahushai. Then you have this cracker over here, this Australian man, saying that he's Jesus because he has long hair. No, you're Cesare Porcher. And then there's a man over there in Russia, I think he's in Serbia, in, in no, Siberia. I think this is him. All right. See, who say that he is the Messiah. Look, and these people actually believe it, man. All right. There must be people that are just, um, what's the word? You know, you pay them and they spread the word. But then there's people that are deceived by that. So basically, this prophecy has come to pass already. For many shall come in my name saying, I am, because Christ means anointed. Hamashiach is anointed in um, Paleo Hebrew. All right. And shall deceive many. All right. Verse 6, Matthew 24 and 6. And you shall hear wars. And we have wars over there in Lebanon uh, 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 with Israel and uh, Hamas, you know, Gaza, all right, Ukraine, Russia, and rumors of war. And we have rumors of World War Three and other wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation. All right. And what is nation against nation? Nation is short for nationality. That's one race against another. Kingdom against kingdom. All right. That's Russia going against America. All right. China against Taiwan. All right. And there shall be famines and pestilences. We had that with the pandemic. Earthquakes in diverse places. And we've had many earthquakes. Remember the Turkey earthquake? An earthquake in Syria and it says what in verse 8 all these are the beginning of sorrows now let's concentrate on verse 7 where it says for nation will rise against nation now let's go to the Greek and nation all right if you click on it and that's why Strong's G 1484 ethnos. E it says ethnos. it says ethnos what does that sound like your ethnic origin man all right let's go down here and what does it say? A multitude associated in living together. Company, swarm. All right. Human family. Bingo. Human family. Race. Your genos. All right. Tribe, nation, people, group. Okay. All right. So a nation against nation is one race of people against another. So in the UK, with this thing that happened in Southport 